picture on the board up here. Does anybody know what that is? A tree. Oh, it's a tree, okay. A tall tree, okay. This is actually a redwood tree. Have you ever heard of a redwood tree? Yes. Okay. Um, it is actually one of the tallest living things in the world. And you can see that it's a tall tree. Okay, so what I want you to do at your table is think about the information that you would need, considering what we've been working on the past couple of days, what you would need to find the height of that tree. What kind of information would you need? So I'm going to give you four minutes to do that. All right, so I'm going to ask you, listen, I'm going to ask you to give me some information about what your table found. But I just want to give you a reference as to actually how big this tree is. I mean, I hear it's a tall tree. That, that is a person standing at the bottom, the trunk of that tree. Wow. Okay. So, this morning, this morning somebody said, you just throw a rope to the top of it and you pull it down and you measure it. Okay. 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 This gives you another reference. This is the redwood tree. This is the Statue of Liberty. Okay, so we're not talking about just a tall tree. We're talking about a really tall tree. Okay, so I need some input from each table. This first table, what did you decide that you needed? Okay. So Jalen's table decided they would need the shadow of that tree. They wanted me to teach art, but I said I'd rather teach math, so. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Then they wanted me to draw a straight line, and I said, you can do that. Okay. So that's where the shadow would be. Then Cameron said, from the top of the tree to the end of the shadow. So what kind of triangle are we looking at? A triangle. Okay. okay. Imagine that I, you don't have to imagine very hard because I am. I'm looking at a point on that wall that is in an imaginary line of sight from my eyes to that point. And it is parallel to the floor here. Okay. If I want to look to the ceiling, what do I have to do with my eyes? I have to look up. Okay. That angle that is an imaginary angle, but if it's here and I look up at the top of that ceiling, I have created an angle. That is the angle of elevation. And so if you're imagining a person standing at this point away from that tree, what would they have to do, obviously, to see the top of that tree? They would have to look up. So this is what Stephanie's talking about, the angle of elevation. Okay, and that's a perfect thing for us to need to have. This is good. All right, so with, with what we've done before in the past couple of days, if you have the angle here and you know this distance, then can we find the third side? Now, what I need for you to tell me now is what you need from me. Because I'm about to ask you to go out there and tell me how tall that flagpole is or how uh, tall the how tall the building is or some other object around campus. So what do you need before you leave this classroom? A rope. <laughs> <laughs> okay. All right. So what do you need? Hold on just a minute. I want to know why he needs this. You have to measure your what, is, what are we measuring here with that ruler I just gave him? <laughs> you can't, listen, you can't measure an angle. What is he going to do with that ruler? What's that? What are you going to use that ruler for? To see how far away he is from whatever he's asked to do. So he's going to do this. He might maybe not need a ruler. 
Maybe some shaped it better. Okay. What else do you need? What else do you need? Go ahead, Ben. You need an angle, right? Okay. So I'm not going to just ask you to go out there and get a ruler to measure an angle. You have to have an instrument to do that. Yeah. All right. This is called a clinometer, and it's very high tech. <laughs> okay. So let me tell you what happens with this. I, we've got a weight tied on the end of this string, and it's hanging at 90 degrees. The straw that's up here is also parallel with the grain. Okay, so if I turn it this way, and I look in the end of that straw, what's happening to the string when I turn this up this way? It's moving. It's moving. So if I want to know the angle of elevation, I'm going to see how far it moved from 90 degrees. And that's how you're going to measure. Okay, so imagine you're out there measuring the height of that flagpole. So you're standing here, you're looking to the top of that flagpole. What is something else we need to know in order to find the height of the flagpole? Well, not necessarily how tall you are because you're not looking at it from up here, but you may need to know what your eye level is to the ground. Okay? So here's what we're going to do. I have given every group three items to find the height of or some variation of that. Okay? So you're going to, the one side of this room is going to leave in a few minutes and you're going to go around the campus wherever I've asked you to go to find the height. The other side of the room is going to work on some a little bit more challenging problems than we did yesterday. So we're going to work for the first part of the class. These people are going to come back and have their stuff, and you're going to go do the same thing. Don't go away and do that. Okay, now listen. I need everybody to hear this. At your table, when you come back in here, this is part of what you need to do, but I'm not going to ask you to do it now because we need to get started so we can finish but you have three different places to give me your calculations and your answer. On the last one, for instance, this first group has to find the height of the Viking head that's on the front of the um, school out here. Once you get your answer, you're going to post this on Padlet. How many of you have used Padlet before? Okay. We used it in, Mr. you probably used it in Mr. Hardison's room if you have him. Okay. So, if you have not yet, it's really easy. Listen, you've got a link down here. So, when you go to this on your phone, you can, somebody in the group needs to take your phone. Because what I'm going to ask you to do while you're out there measuring your stuff is get a shot from this angle. So, whoever has the phenometer, you need to make sure you're getting the object that you are measuring. And then you're going to send that picture along with your solution to the padlet. Okay, so I think you're going to see that it's really easy to use. You just go to this link and it's automatically there for you to, to put a picture in your solution. Okay, if you have any trouble, I'll be happy to help you with it. Alright, so it's right now it's a tw about 20 after. This should not take you till the end of the day. Okay, so you need to go and get it done and come back. Okay, so the people who are going to stay here, y'all just sit tight for just a minute. Somebody from each group needs to come up here and get your instructions.